What's up and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will discuss how to construct the sampling distribution of sample means. But wait, let us talk first why is sampling important in statistics. Number one, samples are used in statistical testing when population is too large. Number two, a sample should represent the population as a whole. Number three, a data from the sample best calculate the population. Sample is very useful in researches and surveys. Five, it saves time because of reducing the amount of data and others. We have the following steps in constructing the sampling distribution of the means. Number one, determine the number of possible samples that can be drawn from the population using the formula. Subscript uppercase N, C, subscript lowercase N equals uppercase n factorial over lowercase n factorial quantity uppercase n minus lowercase n factorial where uppercase n equals the size of the population and the lowercase n equals the size of the sample step 2 list all the possible samples and compute the mean of its sample step 3 construct a frequency distribution of the sample means obtained in step 3 and step 4, construct a sampling distribution of the sample means based on step 3. Let us use that steps in our example 1. Construct the sampling distribution of the means of sample size of 3 of a population consists of numbers 1, 2, 5, 8, and 9. In our step 1, determine the number of possible outcomes. Our population is 5. Our sample size is 3. Substituting on the formula, we have 5 factorial over 3 factorial quantity 5 minus 3 factorial. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. 5 minus 3 is 2 factorial is 2 times 1. We will cancel 3 times 2 times 1. We will cancel 2 and 4. 2 is remain 5 times 2 equals 10. It means we are expecting 10 possible outcomes. We can determine the 10 possible outcomes by mapping diagram or by manual listing. We do first the mapping diagram. Its possible second number can be 2, 5, and 8. 9 is not included just because 9 is the last number that will fall on the second number. If 2 is the second number, the possible third numbers are 5, 8, and 9. If 5 is the second number, the possible third numbers are 8 and 9. And if 8 is the second number, 9 is the third number. After the size of 3 combinations whose 1 is the first number, next is 2. If 2 is the first number, the possible second number is 5 and 8. If 5 is the second number, the possible third number is 8 and 9. If 8 is the second number, its possible third number is 9. And if the first number is 5, 8 and 9 are the second and third number. After finishing the tree diagram, we have now the 10 combinations of size 3. And from that tree diagram, the samples are the following. 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 9, 1, 5, 8, 1, 5, 9, 1, 8, 9, 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, 9, 2, 8, 9, and 5, 8, 9. Other way of getting the samples is by listing them manually one by one. The first is 1 to 5. It's mean 1 plus 2 plus 5 is 8 divided by 3 is 2.67. The second sample is 1 to 8. 1 plus 2 plus 8 is 11 divided by 3 is 3.67. Other samples are 1 to 9 whose mean is 4, 1, 5, 8. 4.33, 159, 5, 189, whose mean is 6, 258, mean is 5, 259, mean is 5.33, 289, 6.33, and 589, the mean is 7.33. Step 3, construct the frequency distribution obtained in step 2. On the first column, write the mean. On the second column, its corresponding frequency. 
the frequency of the mean 2.67 is 1, 3.67 is 1, 4 is 1, 4.33 is 1, 5 is 2, 5.33 is 1, 6 is 1, 6.33 is 1, 7.33 is also 1, total of 10. Step 4, construct the sampling distribution obtained in step 3. The sampling distribution for column 1 is the mean, for column 2 is the probabilities. The probabilities is the frequency over the total number of samples, which is 10. Since 2.67 has one frequency, its probability is 1 over 10. Other samples are also 1 over 10 except 5 which is 2 over 10. Probabilities can be expressed as fractions or its equivalent decimals. 0 0.10 for 1 over 10 and 0 0.20 for 2 over 10. The next figure is the three column sampling distribution of sample means. On the first column is the sample mean, the second column is the frequency, and the third column is the probability that can be expressed as fractions or decimal. Another figure is the graph or histogram of the sampling distribution of sample means. On the horizontal is the sample mean, on the vertical is the probabilities on the area are the bars representing the probability of its mean. Another example, construct the sampling distribution of the means of sample size 2 of a population consists of numbers 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, and 10. For our step 1, determine the number of possible outcomes. Using the formula, we arrive that we have 15 possible outcomes of sample size of 2. Our step 2 is listing the 15 samples and computing its mean. As I said before, we have two possible ways of determining the 15 outcomes. One is by means of mapping diagram. The second one is the systematic listing of the samples. And by doing that, we arrive that the first sample is 3 and 4, its mean is 3.5. The second sample is 3 and 6, its mean is 4.5. And the 15th sample is 9 and 10, whose mean is 9.5. Step 3 is construct the frequency distribution. On the first column, write the mean from lowest to highest. On the second column is the frequency refers to the number of samples we have of that particular mean. Example, the mean 3.5 has one frequency, meaning there is only one sample whose mean is 3.5. Other is, the mean 6.5 has three frequency, meaning there are three samples whose mean is 6.5. In step 4, construct the sampling distribution. The sampling distribution on the first column, it is the mean. In the second column is the probability, first in terms of Fraction. The numerator is the number of frequency. The denominator is the total number of samples, which is 15. Aside from fraction, probability can also be expressed as decimal. Just divide the numerator by its denominator. And aside from fractions and decimals, probabilities can also be expressed in terms of percent. To change decimal into percent, just multiply 100 to the decimal and from the result, affix the percent sign. So, 0 0.67 equals 6.7%. The shorter way of changing decimal to percent is just move the decimal point two places to the right. So, 0 0.67 will become 6.7%. So, on the remaining probabilities, let us move the decimal point two places to the right and affix the percent sign. After that, we have now the sampling distribution in terms of percent.
And on the screen is the three columns sampling distribution of sample means, including the frequency and its corresponding probability. And last but not the least, I will also present to you the histogram of the sampling distribution of the sample means, where on the horizontal is the sample mean, on the vertical is the probabilities. And on the body of the histogram are bars representing the mean, and its height corresponds to its respective probability. Again, I hope you learned from this video. Be updated, please subscribe.